Do you want to lose weight? Here are some tips for you to help lose weight. Check out what we're doing to help us on our journey. We all know the biggest problem when trying to lose weight is snacking. You sit on the sofa in the evening and you snack. Whether it's on your own, with a partner, with some friends, you always do it. You can't help it. It's the way you were born. It's the way you do things. Not anymore. We're going to help you change those snacks. Now, I'm not talking about the super fit, super healthy people. I'm talking about regular people. People like you and me. People that struggle to lose weight. We do. We snack. We can't help it. So let's change those snacks and get healthier ones. What he said. Exactly what he said. Okay, so as you can see, we're not together this week. And that is basically because shifts won't allow us. Alan's going to work soon and I'll be going to work after. So uh, we can't actually, we don't have the time to meet, unfortunately. So we're going to have to go old school this way. We used to do it in lockdown. Yeah, the old lockdown video chat. It works quite well for us to do this bit, but it's not as the fun sort of atmospheric sort of feeling we want. But we're doing what we can for you guys. Absolutely. We bring the quality to you. I just wish my internet quality was better. So anyway, shall we crack on? Yeah, let's, um, let's dive right in to our favourite snacks. OK, so Al, tell us what you are doing at the moment to try and lose weight. OK, we're looking at snacks at this particular moment in time. And the evenings are pretty much the worst for most people. Friday night, Saturday night, you name it. Evening time snacks. So the three that I'm sort of going to encourage are the first one is beef jerky. It sounds American, I believe it is American, but however, you usually find it's a good source of protein. Protein fills you up for longer, and it's generally quite low calorie, the ones that you can buy in the shops. They're around about between 60 to 80 calories per portion, and that's pretty good going. I used to, prior to this, having um, something to snack on as the equivalent, it would, it would be probably, I know it sounds silly, but a sandwich. I would feel like meat in a sandwich and have the bread and then you've got the butter. It all adds up. So I've swapped that completely from having that type of snack and having something a little bit less to, to, to sort of eat. But with still good protein. So that's a big calorie difference there from a sandwich with the breads and the, and the uh, spread and things like that going to, to a beef jerky bar. I mean, I've got one with me here because funny enough, you've nicked it. It was going to be one of my snacks. So I've got a beef jerky bar here. And this one is actually... 65 calories for a bar. That's it. But with, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't say how much protein. It just says high in protein. But they're also gluten-free and things like that. So they're very, very good for you, these sort of things. Very good for energy. So I'll move on to my second one. And I like what we call these little cereal bars. But there's one specifically called the Alpen bars. And I use those ones because they're only around about 65 to 70 calories, again, per bar. And they come in a variety of flavours, from double chocolate to salted caramel, even a Jaffa cake style one, like Jaffa orange. And it's like, for me, it's delicious. So they've got a little bit of sweetness to your day and they're only sort of 60 odd calories. So if you really were on sort of a double hunger for them, you could have two of them and they're still only around about 120 calories, which is quite reasonable for a snack. So, yeah, very happy to have those. Um my before, I suppose, with that would be a bowl of cereal. And the problem with adding a bowl of cereal is that you'd have all of the milk to add in for the... As much as there's like calcium, but it's a lot of calories, you'd also overfill the bowl with cereal, not the recommended amount. So your sugars and everything would be all double, triple. Did you ever look at the actual recommended amount of cereal? Did you ever put one in the bowl? Yeah, it's ridiculous! It's like it's like 45 grams. So when you look at it, it's this tiniest little amount. And that's how they get away with it all being green or, you know, very light colours on their traffic light system on the front of the packaging. That's, that's the issue with them. It's it's the fact of they are small portions and you don't see that. You put a bowl and you fill it up. So, yeah, Al, I hear what you're saying about that cereal because I used to get a bowl and I think I try the recommended amount and you put it in and you think, yeah, that's not enough for me. I mean, I'm a big guy. I, I mean, if I do eat, I eat, you know what I mean? And it it never filled me up. So I used to fill that bowl up. Until I probably had about six portions in there, if I'm honest. Yeah, I must admit. The problem is, is the well, the bowl that they create for you to buy is a lot bigger than what most bowls are. So the trick is trying to find something smaller. 
But the problem is, is that you're so used to, like institutionalized to what you've been buying, a uh, big bowl, you fill it up and then you eat more, you gain weight, you buy more. It's just a cycle of spending and making all these people wealthy. Uh, but it makes you not wealthy. That's the problem. It makes you ill. I tell you what, then, that is a fantastic tip. You know, get a smaller bowl or, do you know, um, Lord Sugar, Lord Alan Sugar, he was on a diet and he lost lots of weight because instead of using a big plate at dinner, he used a side plate and he'd only have whatever he could fit on a side plate. So it was that was the way of cutting down his portion control, doing it that way. I did hear that he stopped putting um, like sugar in his tea because he's sweet enough. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're terrible. They get worse. They get worse. I'm going to tweet Alan Sugar and tell tell him that you called him sweet. Uh, I thought he was like Sid James. <laughs> 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 okay, so my third and final one is uh, if you like crisps. Now I'm a I'm a beast for crisps. I could just devour packet after packet. So I've looked at alternatives and the ones that are good to go for are things like skips or quavers because they are usually much lower because they're just pretty much baked air typed crisps. They're very sort of small and thin, but you get more in a packet. So it looks like you've got deceivingly a lot more to have and they are lower calories. So you can get them for under a ton. So like 99 calories or less in a packet. And that's quite good. The previous ones would have been like the full like Brannigan's, you know, like, you know, um, beef and mustard, which are one of my favourites, but there's, you know, again, calorific. Kettle crisps, they're all calorific. So, yeah, I, I swap them now for those ones to have something so I can still have a bit of a crisp sort of savoury flavour. That's very nice. Um, I've got crisps on my list as well because I think that's a problem with everyone, I think. That is a major thing. It's very convenient, easy food, and it just fills you up, doesn't it, for a bit? And it's what larger people go for. It's a lot of crisps. So, yeah, um, completely agree with what you said. And I'll talk a bit more about that on my list as well. So, Dean, right, let's have a look at your snacks. What have you got? Yeah, well, funny enough, Al, we're, we're pretty similar in some respects. So what I'll start with, I'll start with a similar one. So I've actually got some crisps here. Now, the good news is they're still here. I've not eaten them yet, which is fantastic. But um, I did, however, eat last night the substitute that I usually have. Because what I do at the moment, there's, there's two options for me. One of them, there's um, a, ba a brand of crisp, I think called a hip pea or something like that. They're made of um, chickpeas and they're really good. They're 99 calories for a really big bag and they're like what's it's, but all the, all the what's it's are very good as well. But the other one I go for now is popcorn. Popcorn is so, if you get the, a decent healthy brand, they're so low in calories for a, a lot, a, a large portion, a lot more than a bag of crisps. So a top tip for that would be if you crave things, if you, if you, need to fill up you can get a bigger bag of popcorn for the same calories as a tiny little bag of crisps there and you feel fully you feel like you've actually had a treat but it's it's better for you so it's a lot better for you so um that's one you can take to the bank and i will yeah just don't buy it from the cinema unfortunately it's like taking a mortgage out when you want to get popcorn from there oh no don't do that i think i was i was in um tesco's i think and I, it was like a big bag for a pound and if you have the salted one, it kind of tastes like really salty crisps as well. So you're into a winner there as well. Cool. Good tip. Dean's pro tip. Another one that like Al said was the um, the beef jerky bars. I'm going to be really professional and hold them the right way up. Beef jerky bars. There we go. So I, I stock a lot of these now in the house. They're very, very good at cravings for me. Where I used to go to the cupboard and grab a biscuit or, or grab a little bar of chocolate. I now go for these. They're less calories with much higher protein, they fill you up for longer, try them. Absolutely try beef jerky. It really does work. It's really good. If you do need a chocolate fix, sometimes it's a bit too much and you do need that, that thing, that sweet tooth, try this. The Skinny Food Company chocolate spread. This has got 92% less sugar than the normal spread. So I, I spoke about it in a previous video that I'll link now, but this is good stuff. Sometimes just a spoonful of that or a bit on toast covers the chocolate fix and that is a big problem for me the chocolate fix how many of you out there that are trying to diet think one night oh i can't be bothered to diet tonight let's just go out and get some snacks and you end up with a big slab of chocolate and, and a big bag of crisps and dips and things like that the calories you're consuming in that little evening treat with the family on the sofa you can have a lot less calories and this stuff is cheaper as well you'll save money you save money you'll save calories and you will feel better for it okay so try it
We've all been there with the calories. We've all been there with the calories and snacks. Okay, so a personal favourite of mine that I've come to, to love, and you've seen quite a lot on this channel, I've actually got for breakfast this morning, is my natural yoghurt with honey in it. It's gorgeous. And I will have this, not just for breakfast, which I'm going to have now, which, although I will in a minute, so I've got to hurry up and stop filming. I'm going to have that for breakfast, but also I'll have that whenever I fancy a sweet treat because the honey flavour inside the natural fat-free yoghurt, it's amazing. That is going to be what I take from this whole journey. I started that early on. I'm, I can't even remember what episode it was, Al. Do you remember? Uh, I'm going to go with, randomly, episode six. I'm going to check that out and see if you're right. But it was very early on anyway. <laughs> and, um, and I've stuck with it the whole journey. And that has been the one thing that has really helped me. Obviously, I'm human. I still slip sometimes and go and buy chocolates and things. But the, the natural yogurt with honey in it, helps me do that a lot less so i urge you to try it i actually need help from all of you viewing at the moment what is your snack your new snack that you've that you've replaced something bad with because i'm struggling with biscuits i've never you out i love a chocolate biscuit or a chocolate cookie and i don't know what to replace it with so please if you're watching this if you have a snack that you really like, that you really go for, that's maybe going to help me get rid of the biscuits, please let us know. Leave a comment down below or find us on the Twitter page and let us know what you replace your snacks with. Just want to add in something there. After speaking to a few of the groups on Facebook through uh, the Vegan Society and the communities there, I'd like to find out what vegan snacks you have out there because to be honest with you, from our vegan takeaway episode on the previous week, I'm really enjoying some of the vegan foods. So is there anything specific in snack-wise that you guys have that, you know, you can tell us about that may even be good for our weight loss journey? Would really like to find out more about that. Yeah, that is a great idea. I mean, I really enjoyed the vegan food, did you? Absolutely, mate. I'm converted on some of it. The takeaway stuff. When I go to KFC, I'm going to buy the vegan burger. It's simple as that every time now. I really, really enjoy it. That's why I said this week for some of the snacks would be interesting to find out what vegans have for snacks too. And I'll tell you, you were so right about the Greg's vegan sausage roll. That was gorgeous. Converted, mate. Converted. I'm never going back. It's just crazy. We are saving the planet and losing weight. Okay, so it was pointed out to me that oh, we've actually forgot to do the weight loss charts for the last couple of weeks. We're really slacking on that one. So should we show people how we've done? I think we should put the graphic up. Okay, let's have a look at the weight loss chart. So we're at my favourite part of the week, the graphics of the weight loss chart. It looks like a mountain range at this moment in time. But yes, I, um, okay, it's not been the best week. Put a pound on, I'm 17.10. But you know what? I'm feeling a little bit more confident from feeling a bit low from the previous weeks. So I'm going to really crunch this week and I'm going to get some weight off. So I'm aiming for at least two pounds loss next week. Dean, how's it going with you? Well, I've actually got some bad news, unfortunately. I put £4 on to 15 stone 2. But I'm, I'm not worried about it, to be honest, because I actually went on a holiday with the family. And as you know, when you're on holiday, you don't make the best decisions. So there was a lot of beer going on, a lot of ice creams and things like that. All I've got to do is just claw it back. But I'm not going to put, beat myself up. It was a holiday. It was a family event. And I really enjoyed myself. So I've had my fun. And I've got to put the work back in. Well, I, mate, I appreciate the honesty. That's what I think all viewers want to hear. They want to hear the truth of how things go. So well done for at least being at least honest. And do you know what? We're going to get back on this horse. We're going to start riding this to the end and lose the weight. Absolutely. I mean, we said at the beginning this was going to be an honest, truthful journey. And it is. I had a holiday. I went on a holiday. I'm not going to feel sorry for that. Everyone does it. So you just got to move on from that. And people will worry about things like that. But... It's up to you. You can either be good on your holiday and be healthy still or just relax, have fun and worry about it when you get back, which is what I've chosen to do. So uh, that's the way around I'm, I'm going with it. OK, guys, so we've come to the very end of this week's episode. We do hope you've enjoyed it. We've got some good questions for you to answer for us. So please leave some questions and comments in the in the boxes at the bottom it would be amazing don't forget the like subscribe stuff that really does help us and on top of that it helps you too because you might know somebody that needs this help yeah pretty much uh, what alan said um give yourself some good karma press the like button and the subscribe button and uh keep following our journey but for me see you later and for me bye-bye 
And don't forget, guys, you must hit the like button. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. And you must subscribe to the channel. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. And you must also press the little bell thingy that gets you notifications when you get all the current video thingies, sort of thingies. Press the bell. Okay, I think they've got it now. Thank <laughs> you.